Welcome back Ark players to a brand new video. Now today we have the new community crunch 405 for Ark Survival Ascended and there has actually been a release date um, and uh, I actually really enjoyed the first series so we are going to be going into all of the brand new news you guys need to know today and uh, so if you do enjoy make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you want to get yourself an Ark Survival Ascended server for the new Scorch Earth map the link will be in the description down below and come and join us in the discord the Loaded Crisis discord we have now over 1200 members members um and it's great if you want to come and meet some new friends everyone's so friendly in there we got great mods to come and join us anyway so we have one thing which i think people will care about um a release date and then we have one thing which i don't think that many people will care about um it's for console players uh, so let's go through it so uh, community crunch 405 an update on premium mods they don't actually mention the the release date in the title which is weird excellent rate and more so welcome to another edition of the Community Crunch. Console players, get ready to level up your modding game. Premium mods are finally landing on Xbox and PlayStation at the end of April. Modding has always been a huge part of what makes Ark so awesome, and that community creativity has kept the game fresh for years. Between new worlds like Savartoheim uh, Premium and new creatures like um, Additions Ascended, um, there are plenty of amazing content to drive uh, to dive into. Keep your eyes peeled for more details on the rollout. So, um, my only so the, I'm more than happy with Premium mods, right? And I said it from the start. My only thing that I am a little bit mm, about Premium mods is. A lot of the content we always had for free in the past is now behind a paywall. Now, the reason I don't mind it is for years I've thought that mod creators deserve to get paid for their hard work. And I know they got paid from Wildcard, but the fact they've now got a kind of more of a drive to make the mods because they can get premium mods is a great thing. The only thing that I thought was weird about it is the, I thought the premium mods were going to be like massive like dlc level mods and they did kind of promise that us to the start and a lot of the premium mods at the moment have kind of been mods that we always had for free um and i know maybe some mod creators may listen to that and say you know get a bit upset but don't i'm not saying that we shouldn't have these types of premium mods i'm just saying it is a little bit upsetting that you know they now are putting some mods behind a paywall now you have more than any right as a mod creator to charge for them because there's so many talented modders that have deserved to be paid for years um but uh yeah that's just how i saw it um i was excited for premium mods because i actually thought they were gonna be they said they were looking to work with big ips and i kind of was getting excited to buy like like what minecraft do right i was excited to pay for like a Jurassic World DLC as a premium mod and it turns out that it's kind of the ones that we had for free before so that's my only saying I'm not going to go more into it um, because I do want to support mod creators um, but yeah anyway so that's coming to console at the end of April now here is the release date guys although the dear jane event for the arc animated series just wrapped up on official servers the international release for the arc animated series is just around the corner on april 19th follow the 21st century paleontologist helena walker as she finds herself resurrected on the mysterious prime evil island populated by prehistoric beasts now also on top of that guys we also have been told i think it was in this tweet along here uh here it is the uh, um so until the release of the arc animated series part two coming soon on paramount plus so we have the animated series coming on uh, international release april 19th and then part two is coming soon as well. Now, hopefully that coming soon doesn't mean months, uh, but we'll see. Um, and uh, what was your opinion on the animated series if you watched it? Um, that, you know, that would be something good to know. Um, but yeah, I, I personally really did enjoy the animated series. I thought it was better than what I expected. And that was the main thing that I wanted from it. Um, I wasn't happy that, you know, con um, console players, I wasn't happy that people all around the world had to wait an extra month to watch it. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So part two will be coming soon and I can't wait for it. As for other release dates in the community, if you didn't see the last community crunch, 
um, which we'll quickly pop to, over to is uh, the center. It's coming out on June 3rd. Um, so, and it's coming with the Shastasaurus and Aberrations being worked on too. So not only that, um, we, uh, uh, we've got all different types of maps to look forward to coming for the game. Uh, like uh, the rest of the stuff to be honest in the crunch isn't going to be that great from what i can imagine this is the first time i'm going into it so after animated series um it's pretty much da uh, a, a new mod spotlight which we'll have a watch uh, for it says download and play new custom content created uh, maps as you guys know we have additional um uh, munate munitions there or mute i thought he was gonna say mutations um a new scorpius colosso scorpius creature big tents Arc Nucleus, Scorched Demantinosaurus. Uh, um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce the other name there, but we do have the Scorched Monolophosaurus um, and then the Scorched Miraxis. Um, Miraxis? God, I'm, I'm, I'm so bad with names. Um, and then the excellent rates on the official network. Um, as you can see, uh, it says it will be um, active now until Monday, the 15th of April. One day before my birthday, um, I've got a really fun um, night with some friends tomorrow for uh, to celebrate my birthday. Um, and then the six, Tuesday, the 16th is my actual birthday. I am turning 25, guys. I started my YouTube channel creating ARC videos when I was 16 years old and nine years down the line at 25. Can you believe it? How long have you been watching my channel for now, guys? And I'm not stopping anytime soon. I want to be, if, if I could be 85 years old and I'm still doing this, this is my dream job and I wouldn't say no. I just love it um, and uh, I hope to do it for the rest of my life. But it's not always, uh, it's not always being a YouTuber, it's never that guaranteed. Um, so I know you always need a backup plan and that's why, you know, I, us I have actually worked previously in the, uh, I mean, you guys are probably thinking, Dom, stop going on about your life. But uh, I have worked previously uh, for a couple of years in the gaming industry too. So um, I, I love that job. So if I ever need to go back, it's always, I knew everything one day was going to be in gaming when I was growing up, but it's feels, I feel so grateful to be doing YouTube full time at the moment. And that's just down to you guys. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart that you guys are allowing me to do this. Um, but yeah, so um, anyway, the new community corner. Oh, we love Neebs. Who doesn't love Neebs? Um, that experiences their first day in Ark Survival Ascended, day one. Um, and then we have Crabatron, big fan of Crabatron's videos, um, uh, demonstrates the Direwolf's ability to sniff out rock golems and Perlovias. Uh, I know I always pronounce that wrong as well, um, that are hidden on the map. Um, and then we have the fan art of the week. So we have um, a really cool dossier design here. We have some Ferox sketches. Who's excited for Genesis? It's going to be ages until we see Genesis um, on, uh, on a Survival Ascended. Uh, we have an itchy um we have a re another really cool design from the animated series um and we have a reaper design look at this beautiful background arc um art of arc uh we have a mosasaurus and then photo mode of the week some really cool stuff you can like oh look at this one um wetwood town has now has its very own train station yeehaw i love it i love it oh that's aaron longstaff shout out to aaron love aaron's videos photo mode matching hat and uh yeah so that is the full community crunch today guys um and uh, there's uh you know hype is coming um the only the only thing that i want to sort of have an update on is I, it would be nice if wildcard would update the roadmap but i just don't think they will um it would be nice to sort of see where i think they're just sort of releasing maps as and when they can it seems to be two months after each other as from what we've seen um you know um scorched earth launched on april 1st um centers june 3rd then aberrations coming up next it'd be nice if it's only a month afterwards but i'm guessing it'll be two months but um you know they need to kind of get the maps out as fast as possible because you know there's no way that they can delay uh, like th there's no way that we could be waiting till 2026 to see um that the fjorda you know like it just would be crazy but thank you very much for watching today's video, guys. Have a fantastic weekend. There won't be a video tomorrow just because on the Saturday, just because I'm out for a birthday night. Um, so I'm going to enjoy myself, have a day off. I don't tend to give myself day off on YouTube because it like it's my job and I love it. Um, so I love making videos, but I won't be doing that tomorrow. But there will be a video on Sunday onwards. So 
Much love to you all. Catch you guys on Sunday and see you guys then.